Today I'm in the tiny town of Port Carling, Ontario, Canada. Hub of the Lakes, they call it. And we are at Terry's Barbecue and Grill. My wife and I came once last year here and the food was phenomenal. So I thought I'd bring you guys along here with Rusty and uh, have some food, show you this place. Hopefully next time you are in the area of Port Carling, you check out Terry's and you will enjoy it as much as I do. Just trying to get this really cool shady parking spot. This will, this will work. This will work. Perfect. That won't roast to death. All right, let's go check out Terry's menu and see what we're gonna to eat today. How are you, sir? That's about it all. Excellent. It's nice and sunny out. It sure it's is. Uh, I definitely think I'm going to do your donair fries. Sure. So donair meat, tomato, sweet onion, sweet garlic sauce. You know what? I'm going to do your beer battle battered onion rings as well. We'll do a small. Small, sure. So I don't die today. Yeah, no, I get you. <laughs> all right. Let's tear his barbecue and grill, and I'm going to cook to him. <laughs> Hey, there you go. Let's see my friend. Let's do like a nice tea would be fantastic. Nice tea, sure. Yeah, thanks. Oh, where is it all, eh? Well, 2046 man, it's the name for the order. Uh, Ken. Sorry? Ken. Ken, sure. There you go, Ken. She's heading off to the screen. It's out the front there when you're ready, my man. All right. 25%, of course. <laughs> why, why, would I, why would I do anything else? <laughs> this guy's got great food, so. Hopefully. Well, of course. You try. Yeah. Can I have uh, two vinegars and two salt, please? Sure, come right in. Thank you. And white or mild for you, Ken? Uh, white, please. Sure. Is that enough? That's perfect. Thank you. Hope you have a great day, eh? You too, sir. Thank you very much. See ya. All right, people, we are back in the car. I thought I'd save them a bag and, and uh, just carry everything but that was a bad idea drop the onion rings so i didn't it didn't open which uh gives them a nice take the mask off too uh gives them some kudos for their their boxes they don't open if you drop them so let's put this down let's get the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating shall we let's do a quick hand wash got my placemat ready my napkin ready didn't want to use any of their napkins i also have some backup napkins just in case hands all clean i'm going to set this stuff up and then we'll go in for a close-up all right guys going in for the extreme close-up of this beautiful lunch here in port carling at terry's barbecue and grill over here we got these golden look like they're very crispy awesome onion rings my fave we got a nice cold iced tea it's gonna chill us out in this hot day. And over here, we got Donair fries. So it's basically a Donair poutine. We've got French fries down there on the bottom. We've got Donair or Donner, Donair sauce, tomatoes, red onion. Oh, look at that meat. Does that look juicy? It sure does. This looks lovely, people. Let's go in. First up, Get this iced tea cracked open because it is hot. Ah, lovely. Let's get out our vinegar. I've gotten a few of you people to try my favorite, which is white vinegar on your onion rings. You just spill that all over, especially when you got a placemat going. You don't care about your, your tray at that point. And again, I only probably need one today. We'll put the salt on there because salt and vinegar, they go well together. There we go. Lots and lots of salt. Watch the blood pressure go through the roof. Look at that. All salted up. Ready to go. Mmm. Nice and hot. Big. 
thick cuts of onion. Perfect amount of vinegar, salt. Oh, I think I crushed a few when I dropped them. It looks like they put a couple extra in here and, and, and forced it closed. So thank you very much, Terry's Barbecue and all the employees that work there giving me extra onion rings. Jamming it in there. Ooh la la. This is a small, and that's a lot. Let's do this little guy right here. Come on, come on. Aw. Mm. Let me, oh look at this one. Let me know if you prefer onion rings over french fries. I probably order french fries way more than I do onion rings, but I think I love onion rings more. I just don't want to eat them all the time. Mm. So good. There are so many things on the menu that I got to come back and try. Let me know if you want to rewind the video, look at their menu, find things on there that you want me to come back and try. And I'm willing to do at least two more things on this uh, menu at the same time. But I just realized, because I, I wanted to do a, a poutine. I want to come back and do one of their poutines for sure. Uh, just one of their straight up traditional poutines. It's a must. Uh, but it is a donair fry. So it's just fries with the donair meat, uh, the tomatoes, the onions, and the donair sauce or the donner sauce. It's up to you how you want to say it. I know people say it differently all over the world. <sighs> Once again, the opening is not lined up. I can't do a show the logo smile and wave i have to turn it so you guys get the nutritional facts we don't want to know the nutritional facts all right guys here we go oh i'm trying to bend it down so you guys can see but it's all messy everywhere it's like an explosion of donair sauce all right let's see if we can get a little bit let's just try one of these pieces of of donair that's why you have a placemat when you miss your mouth. That's a big, thick slice, man. Mmm. air. it's kind of like a meatloaf with a lot of spices in it. And then sometimes they put it on like a spit or a rotisserie and then they shave it. So there's many different ways you can cook it, many different ways you can cook, uh, create it. But I think it's kind of like, and correct me if I'm wrong, read, read the comments uh, to all the the people from uh, out east and people from, I think Turkey is one of the main places it came from. Possibly um, uh, Greece. I'm not sure exactly where it originally came from. But a lot of people out east love their donor so, or donair. All right. So let people know their favorite place to get the donair. Mm. And the sauce is beautiful. It's like a cream sauce. I'm trying to keep this on an angle so you guys can see it as I eat it. The meat is exceptional. The donair sauce brings it all together. And of course, a little bit of onion, tomato, and french fries. Makes it a donair fries exceptionally well. It's just amazing. The uh, the sauce is a little bit on the, the sweet side, not too sweet. You don't want uh, like really sweet donair sauce. Again, because I'm a savory kind of guy. <laughs> when it comes to french fries, but they give you a lot. I'm so glad I didn't get anything else. Like a burger or whatever. This is exceptionally exceptional. Even the police come here. Mr. Police Officer, I can't see why he ordered, but he did grab a water, maybe a fries, oh, a hot dog. So cops come here for hot dogs. They're open every day from 11 to, I don't know when when they close, but uh, they're open every day of the week except Sunday and Monday. So uh, plan your, your trip if you're coming up from the Toronto just to try how amazing this uh, burger joint is. Bring a few people, everybody order something different and then share it, cut it into four and get a little quarter of everything on the menu. That would be phenomenal. But right now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven vehicles here. So I thought 
there might be one or two cars here, but they're this popular. That's how good the food is. And as I was standing there, multiple people, as they walked up to the um, the counter, he, he called them by name. So it's super friendly uh, people around here. And obviously so many times these customers return to Terry's that they know each other's name or they're just friends because they're neighbors because they're a small town. There's no police uh, station in this little area. So he's obviously on patrol in this area, checking it out and he knows where the good food is. Look at that meat. Look how thickly sliced they do it here. Mm. There's a ton of recipes on the internet. If you ever want to try creating your own donair and donair sauce, try to find people from, um, like if you're from a part of the world that doesn't do donair, um, try to find a, like a YouTuber that is from, um, I guess either Europe or Halifax. This is probably a Halifax style um, recipe. So again, man, leave your comments in the comment section below. And let people know your favorite recipes, your favorite places. This is definitely one of mine. Cheers, everybody. I hope you're all having a great day and eating something fun and cool like this. It's so good. When we finish eating, I'll take you into town and show you around Port Carlin because it's a beautiful little town. I can't remember how much actually this all cost, but I gave them a 25% 20 uh, tip. And uh, I think it came out to $31 is the last time I saw the thing on the register. So 31 bucks for this huge uh, donair, uh, donair and fries, drink, onion rings. And again, you could share this with two people for sure, that's a lot of food. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to finish it at all. It's just so much meat, so much potatoes. Another meal for another person right there. Perfection. All done for now. Let me take you in the back real quick and show you a little bit about what's going on with Rusty and my stealth camper put that over there let's go all right guys in the last episode you saw that I uh, started my window coverings and again um, I'm not sure if a few of you guys missed what I said in the last video but these are only going to go up at nighttime when I want to be stealthy uh, during the daytime, driving around, my windows are going to be open like that all the time. Uh, another reason I didn't want to do just tinted windows was because if it's way too dark, then I won't be able to see out. Uh, and I want to be able to see out just like this every single day. I want to be able to see out of my car like this. Uh, and also, even if it's tinted really dark, if I'm inside the stealth camper at nighttime, it's pitch black and I have a light on and I'm trying to videotape something and I'm trying to be stealthy because I'm in a neighborhood or a place I really shouldn't be stealth camping. Uh, I don't want any light to come out. And if you tinted these windows, you'd be able to see somebody in there with a laptop or a light videotaping themselves eating or whatever. So that's why I'm not going with a tint. So hopefully that explains it for a, little, a few of you. Uh, again, I haven't found uh, spray adhesive yet and that's why I haven't finished the uh, window coverings, inserts. Uh, I just spent a few days up at the cottage. That's why I have my luggage in here and uh, helping my mom out and uh, getting some stuff done around the cottage. It's always nice to, to go up to the cottage and, and help my mom whenever she needs it and uh, relax and stuff. So let's take Rusty, go into town, check out Port Carling. Town Port Carling. We're going over the locks that connect Lake Rosso and Lake Muskoka. There's this beautiful mural up there.
So here we are, downtown Port Carling. These are the locks right over here. The Skoka Lake Museum is just on the other side. There's some pretty cool stores here. Very expensive condos over there. They actually have a spot where your boats can go in. Here's the lock system and this bridge actually goes up like that to let the larger boats through. Because they are practicing the social distancing, they've uh, caged off this whole area. If you actually wanted to use the locks, I guess you'd have to phone them to let, you, let them know that you're coming. But they don't want people hanging out uh, in this area, so they blocked it off up to this point. But uh, yeah, let me show you around a little bit more. One of the coolest things about this mural right here. If you watched a live show of mine not too long ago, we came here, but as you get closer and closer to it, you realize it's all made up of pictures of history of this area. Possibly the locks a long time ago. There's the Seaguin from a long time ago, passing by Dukes, which is just down here. Place to come here from all over vacation and just have a good time. Unbelievable. And again, if you just back up, it turns back into a very large picture. Let's cross the road safely. There we go. And that is a picture of the Seguin, which is one of two boats in this area. And you can take cruises on it throughout the lakes. Can't wait till Muskoka's opens. They got great ice cream, milkshakes. It says see you in June. Just kind of hoping they'd be open today. Just say sorry. Sorry we're closed. But it looks like they're ready to serve. Got the moose on the wall. They got the station to clean your hands and all that stuff. Oh man, I can't wait. Kind of hoping they'd be open today. Oh well. Soon. So back on the other side of the locks is Lake Rosso and it leads into this river called Indian River which then leads to Lake Muskoka and one of the cool things about Lake Muskoka is a huge lake and all the cottagers from that lake and of course this lake but the cottagers from this lake don't have to pay to go through the locks here they can just come down the Indian River and then they can have dinner at Turtle Jack's one of the best locations in Muskoka to sit down and have a drink, have some good food. There's a little tiki bar on there. If you sit there at the right time of day, the Seaguin will, will come through and you get a beautiful view, view beautiful scenery, a little bit of entertainment. There's the liquor store. Um, Muskoka Bearware is there. I'm not sure if they're gonna open this year. Uh, hopefully when uh, this pandemic is over, that location will open again. And they've got a surf shop, selling all types of paddle boards and stuff. Just a beautiful town. So if you're looking for something to do once the restrictions open up and you can start roaming around freely, come up to Port Carling, check out Terry's, check out Muskoka Bearware, Turtle Jacks, Mus Muskowski's, I always forget how to say it, the ice cream shop. Grab yourself a milkshake and enjoy your stay here in Port Carling and you'll come to love this place as much as I love this place. It is definitely one of my favorite spots on the planet. And I look forward every year to driving through here, eating, drinking, and having a good time. All right guys, see you in the next one. Have a great day. Come on Rusty, let's go.